Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here for another video. Today I am very excited because I have been wanting to do this video for a while. It is all of my fragrances that have a pineapple note. Most of them are a pineapple as a top note, but there are a few that I have as a middle note as well. Also, um, yes, I realize I'm not centered in my couch, but I'm hoping that this will save my back um, and just be a little bit more comfortable to film because usually I sit in the middle of the love seat and I just sink in and then my back starts hurting and I try to sit up straight because that's who I am. And um, yeah, it's been killing my back the past couple of videos that I filmed. Not that I filmed a lot. I'm still experimenting, trying to get this place uh, to a place where I actually like my filming location because this is not my normal filming location. Anyway, also if my foundation looks funny, it was not playing nicely with my primer today. We're trying out a new foundation and seeing what primers and uh, setting powders work with it. Before I get started, if this is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If you have not subscribed already, whether this is your first time or not, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what your favorite pineapple perfumes are. If there are some that I own, that you own, or if there's some that you think I need to get, let me know that down below. We're gonna start with the house that started me off on my fragrance journey. They were the first like perfumes that I ever really purchased. Then there's a couple other ones later on that kind of took over, but these are still like some of my favorite bottles. I know they're not always the most popular, but um, my love of Gwen Stefani and of dolls, I collect dolls also, and just Japanese culture in, ge in general. My parents used to live in Japan and like I grew up with lots of Japanese, like they had Japanese furniture, Japanese art. So I've always been fascinated by that because it was something I always grew up around. So having the Harajuku style of these just made me so happy. So this first one is Little Angel. This is the original Harajuku Lovers line. They also have the same notes in the Snow Babies line. I didn't bring that one with me. It's the same bottle but she's wearing a little winter outfit i have them in the box set so little angel i love the details on this too like so cute oh dang i forgot how good this one is i have not worn this one for such a long time because of my collection so the top notes are pineapple raspberry cranberry and black currant middle notes are rose and violet base are hinoki wood and amber yeah i get that first initial blast is like pineapple fruitiness it's mellowing out just a little bit I think this one gives you like a hint of pineapple but I wouldn't say that this one is a definite pineapple scent like that wouldn't be the first thought that came across if I was wearing this after it had dried down a little bit it's just a really fruity pleasant scent oh I forgot how good this is yeah, I need to break back out my Harajuku lovers because I do love them. Little Angel, I do think is a good scent. I don't know if you want like a pineapple that lasts and it's like a very prominent, probably not the best one, not the best choice, but I do really like it. It's a very fruity kind of almost effervescent, uh, just a little bit. It plays really well, those notes together. So I really enjoy that one. The next one was not one of like so there's several different Harajuku Lovers lines. There's the originals, there's the Sunshine Cuties, there's the Snow Babies, there's the Wicked Style, there's Electric Pop, um, and then they did some one-offs. So they did Jingle G, uh, G by the Sea, and Super G. And Super G was larger than any of the other ones, which is kind of fun. And she has her like cape and everything. I love this scent. This is one that I did buy a backup. I found this at Gordman's on sale years ago and I was like I love this scent you can tell like it might not look like I've worn this a lot but I have worn this one quite a bit mm, I love this one this is one that I do reach for and I do remember like this is one that I definitely do associate with pineapple so let me tell you the notes on this one the notes are pineapple tangerine pear and cranberry middle notes are banana coconut peach and freesia base notes are vanilla raspberry musk and virginia cedar Oh, yeah, definitely this is a pineapple scent, but like backed up with those citruses, I really think that tangerine and pear like just add to it without like fighting it. I feel like the other little angel 
overpowered the pineapple a little bit, but this one definitely doesn't. This one, I, I would say these, they're pretty light perfumes, so they're going to last you like maybe two or three hours. They're not super long lasting, but they are really yummy and just delicious. I find a lot of the more citrus or fruity scents, they don't always have the best longevity because the things that give them longevity don't always like um, allow them to shine. So you have kind of a balance. Like, do you want something that uh, has longevity that's going to kind of overpower? That's what I usually find with fragrances, unfortunately. Yeah, this one, I still get the pineapple. This is probably one of my favorite pineapples, and this is one that I think of. When I think of pineapple right away, I know people talk about the Electric Pop G. That's like, I think it's a pina colada type scent. But that one actually doesn't even have pineapple in it. So this is, this is the one that I would pick, my top pick of uh, the Harajuku lovers. All right, the last Harajuku lover one that I have is Wicked Style, and this is G from Wicked Style. And this one I had to go like dismantle my display of them because um, I have this in a display box. I don't, I have never even sprayed this one because it was just too cute. Uh, the display boxes that they did with these were just, just wonderful. Hmm. This one gives me a little bit of more of like aquatic or light floral note than a pineapple. So let me read you the notes on this one. The notes are watermelon, pineapple, granny smith, apple, and peach. Middle notes are raspberry, tuberose, and peony. Base notes are water notes and musk. So I'm really getting those middle notes more than the top notes. Yeah, I'm, it's pretty and I like it. But of the three, this would be my least favorite. It, I don't get the pineapple in it like at all. I don't get that fruitiness at all, unfortunately. So um, unfortunately, Wicked Style G, not my favorite. All right, the other house that I have a lot of and a lot of duplicates too, uh, we have Juicy Couture. This is Wee Splash. This is the like most summary of the Wee fragrances and Give this a sniff. This is a different type of a pineapple. Like I get the pineapple, but it's like a tart pineapple. One that isn't like quite ripe yet. Um, that's what I get with this one. It's not like your sweet, juicy pineapple. If that makes sense, that hopefully makes sense. So the top notes are pineapple, lemon. That's why I'm getting it. It's that lemon that's uh, doing that. Sorbet and Apple middle notes are orange blossom, magnolia, and jasmine. Base notes are ambroxan, white musk, and cedar. So yeah, um, definitely get kind of like that tart. I'm getting a little bit of pineapple, but the lemon is also in there. It kind of reminds me in a very, not like super close or anything, but it reminds me a little bit of light blue, but with like a little bit of pineapple instead of that apple that it's not as prominent. So this one is an okay one, but once again, not like a super pineapple-y uh, fragrance to me. Also from Juicy Couture, we have Ra Ra Rouge. This is in their Rock the Rainbow collection. I think Macy's is now starting to sell these because these were only available at Juicy Couture or at Kohl's, but since Kohl's was taken over, uh, not taken over, but brought in Sephora at Kohl's, I haven't seen these on their website. You might be able to still find some of them in stores. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. This is very sweet. This is a very sweet. This is probably the most sweet of all the scents so far. So your top notes are pineapple, plum, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are peony, jasmine, sandbeck, and lily of the valley. Base notes are musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. So I feel like I'm getting the pineapple a little bit, but the plum, I love plum. I need to wear this one more because I didn't realize... This is what happens when you have too many perfumes. Yes, I know I have too many perfumes. I've been cutting back though, quite a bit. This is so pretty. I get the pineapple a little bit. I think this is pineapple and plum are like, they're kind of, they're in harmony, but they're kind of fighting for prominence, if that makes sense. But I think the plum is eking out just a little bit. But if you want something really sweet and um, more of a pineapple that I feel is not just summer, like I feel 
the We Splash and Super G, those are very much summer type of scents, but this one I feel is a more year-round appropriate scent. I feel like the sandalwood and vanilla are helping with that as well. This is really pretty. This is very sweet. Um, like I said, I think it's the sweetest that I've smelled thus far. All right, next up is Babe Power by Misguided. This is, the brand is so fun. So you actually like push the tab for your soda. I find it a little awkward because like, I feel like you have to push in pretty far. Yeah, I'm getting the pineapple. So this one is actually one of my cherry fragrances that I talked about last year. The top notes are sour cherry, pineapple, rhubarb, pink pepper, apple, and grapefruit. Middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and peony. Base notes are cotton candy, vanilla, musk, and amber. Okay, I feel like I'm getting the cotton candy because it has real sweetness to it. And yes, I do get the cherry in here, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting the pineapple a little bit too. It's just like an in-your-face kind of like a fruit punch almost. But like fruit punch with that has chunks of fruit in it, if that makes sense. So like if you had sangria but without the wine. This is so good. This might be my scent of the day. I have not put on fragrance because I was like, I don't want to be competing with all of my pineapple scents. But this is so good. I need to give this one more of a wear. Definitely overrated. I think this one, even though it smells really fruity, it's in a very different way. It feels more sophisticated and more fizzy, if that makes sense, than the other ones. Um, oh, it smells so good. I don't know. It just feels elevated compared to the scents that I've just talked about, which I hate saying because those are two of my favorite lines. So good. Yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this one. I think you can find it. I got this one for like 20 bucks, so not too bad of a price. Most of these are on the more affordable side and can be found on sale, which is always nice. Next up is a complete blind buy that I purchased at like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those, and it was like 20 bucks. So this is another one that you can find. It is Cosmopolitan by Cosmopolitan, the magazine. I was not expecting much from this fragrance because I mean we've all read well maybe we haven't all read Cosmopolitan but it's not like a deep magazine it's you know fun and they always have the embarrassing moments that was like my favorite thing um so you know you feel like it's going to be youthful and uh fun is kind of the vibe of the magazine so that's what I figured would be the vibe of this perfume the notes are nectarine, pineapple, pink pepper, mandarin orange, and bergamot. Middle notes are saffron, heliotrope, pimento, jasmine, and carrot seeds. There's a lot of interesting set notes in that middle. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. I feel like I'm getting more of like the saffron. I'm not a big saffron fan, to be honest. It does have like a fruitiness to it. But like a fruity, it's, it's definitely a fruit chuli. Um, I'm getting that patchouli in there and it's kind of just bringing down all of those fruits to making them warmer. It's definitely not a, like, I wouldn't, looking at the bottle, thinking about it, this, like, if I looked at it, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a summer scent. But now I'm smelling it and I'm like, this is too much for me in the summer. I mean, it is really hot right now. It is in right where I am. It is 81 degrees inside. Um, it is hot. Yeah, it's hotter outside and the humidity, this would be, this would be ch choking me if I was wearing this outside. So definitely not a summer pineapple, but a interesting scent. And I think this is definitely one to look for because it's worth it trying it because of, it's an interesting scent, um, but not really a heavy pineapple type of a scent. Next up we have one that you probably all knew where it's going to be in this video. This is Ely Saab Girl of Now Shine. This is the flanker to the original and this one is the pineapple one. Obviously I had to include it in here. This is one that I get compliments on. My mom who's not like a big perfume person will be like what did you spray that smells so good? 
Mm. Okay. It, it is so delicious. I, mm, I love this perfume. I have heard it has been discontinued, which I think is insane because um, this is so much better than the other one. I don't like, I don't like the um, raspberry one like at all, which is good because that's the one I have a small bottle of. So the top notes are pineapple, pistachio, pear, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are bitter, almond, orange, blossom, jasmine, and alang alang. Base notes are vanilla, patchouli, and iris. This smells, this is definitely a gourmand. It has that nuttiness in it. So if you smell the original Girl of Now, it is a really beautiful kind of nutty, sweet scent. It's just, it's intoxicating. This has all of that intoxicating quality, adding in that pineapple. It smells like, I don't know, like you were making a pineapple upside down cake, you know, something, and you use some almond flour maybe instead of regular flour throughout, like you mixed them together. It is so good. I love almond, I love marzipan, so, mm. Definitely one of my favorite pineapple scents. Definitely one that I would highly recommend. It's so good. Yes. Ely Saab, Girl of Now, Shine. Get your ha hands on a bottle if you want a pineapple. And I think this one is a year-round wonderful scent. Maybe not in the heat heat right now, but the rest of the year. Oh, so good. Another scent you were probably thinking was going to be in here is something from Escada, and you would not be wrong. So I have Escada. This is Rock and Rio. They, this is the 2011 version. There are two of them listed on Fragrantica, one that predates this, um, but this is the one I got, and I got this one on Zulily on discount. It's, it's available to find if you search for a lot of the Escada scents are still available after they're around, but there's only occasionally one that becomes very popular that's very hard to find, like cherry in the air. So let me give you the notes on this one. The top notes are papaya, pineapple, tangerine, and coconut. Middle notes are peanut or peach, pina colada, was getting ahead of myself, sugarcane, base notes are musk and sandalwood. This is actually nice. I have not given this one the love that it deserves. Um, being completely honest with you, this is this is a really nice one. I'm getting the pineapple, but once again, there's like other fruit notes in there that are kind of competing with it. I wouldn't say it smells like a pina colada though. Like the coconut is, I don't really get a coconut scent from this one. I would say it's actually kind of similar to Super G and these came out, I think around the same time. This one might've been 2012, but yeah, I'm getting a very similar vibe from these. So if you want this one, this one definitely has more, the pineapple's more prominent, but this one is very close in nature in a lot of ways, it, but it might be more accessible than Super G. In my um, kind of inventory of all of my fragrances and looking through for pineapple notes, there was a couple that I was surprised at. One that I'm not gonna talk about because when I went to talk about it, it's actually pineapple leaf and instead of pineapple. So if you want a pineapple leaf, Burberry, Brit, Sheer, this is the 2007 version. There's a 2015 version, which seems to be the same notes. So that one was surprising and it turned out to be kind of a red herring. The other one though is Coach Floral. I didn't realize this one had pineapple in it. I haven't sprayed this one for quite a bit. Um, it's been a while. Ooh, I'm getting some spicy in it, like something spicy right away. So the notes are pineapple, pink pepper, orange, lemon, and bergamot. Middle notes are gardenia, tea rose, jasmine, sandback, and hedonine. Uh, base notes are musk, patchouli, vanilla, woody notes, and sandalwood. Okay, hedonine is a fra uh, floral. Yeah, I'm not getting the pineapple on this. This is funny that pineapple is the t first note listed because I get something, I think I get that pink pepper in there right away. There's and Mixed with the florals, it's just, it's pretty, but it's not something that I immediately am like taken by. Maybe the pineapple's in there hiding just a little bit, but 
To me, this is not a super pineapple-y fragrance, so it's not one that I would recommend. Um, and definitely not one that I reach, would reach for if I was craving a pineapple. Yeah, it's kind of leaving me meh. Next up, we have Marc Jacobs, which is a house that you know that I love. I have done videos on all of the Daisy Dream fragrances, actually, as well as um, the Daisy Loves. I'm working on Daisy and Daisy Oh So Fresh. It's funny that pineapple is listed as a note in this. So top notes are pineapple, black currant, and grapefruit. Middle notes are rhubarb, freesia, and jasmine. Base notes are cedar, musk, and abroxin. I'm getting that freesia, like the freesia and jasmine are really taking over. It smells very soapy to me, like a floral soap, like a very pretty floral soap. But once again, I'm not getting any of that pineapple in here. Yeah, um, no, I'm not getting pineapple in this one at all, unfortunately. It is pretty if I wanted to smell, you know, like a very clean florally soap. It would be nice, but for pineapple, no, unfortunately not. Next up is one that always stays in its box because I just can't even, it's so cute. This is Nina Ricci. This is the, the Les Monstres collection. I mean, look at this packaging. How cute is this? And this is Luna. They did three in this set. One was an Australian exclusive and it was, or Asian exclusive. I finally got it out of Australia on eBay. It took forever to get and it was so worth it. But you want to talk about a bottle that I bought just because the bottle, oh my gosh, look at this. It is so darling. I need to wear this one. Like I know that I need to wear it, but I just, I love the bottle and I want to keep it nice and I love the packaging on it too. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is one that I need to wear more. This, this is going to compete with Boss Babe being sprayed today. So the top notes are uh, pineapple and lime. Middle notes are floral notes. And base note is caramel. I'm getting the caramel a little bit. I'm not getting the florals at all. Like this is kind of like an escada, but like more rich, if that makes sense. That caramel is definitely contributing to it. I'm getting the pineapple a little bit. It's so well blended. It's hard to tell where the pineapple ends and the par uh, the lime starts. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this might be my scent of the day instead. I, I definitely need to wear this one more. The other one that I got is really nice too from this collection. So Nina Ricci, uh, Le Monstres, and this one is Luna. It's definitely, it's a good one. If you want something uh, pineapple, like a rich pineapple, it's a good one. My final fragrance that has a pineapple top note is probably the one that most people would think of that would be a pineapple scent, and it is Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple. This one is very hard to find. I have not found it in the stores in the, in the U.S., Apparently, if you have a Dolce & Gabbana boutique, you can go find it. I don't live by any of those. This this is so heavy, the, the top of it. I, I wanted this for the bottle, not gonna lie. And when I finally found this, I got this one out of fragrancebuy.ca. And it was 150 about for the five ounce bottle. So yes, it is a giant bottle, which you will need because it is a very light scent that you have to reapply quite often, unfortunately. The notes on this are uh, pineapple and Sicilian mandarin. Middle note is jasmine sandback. Base notes are vanilla, absolute ambergris, tobacco, and orchid. This is a, a unisex fragrance. It is was created and marketed as that, unlike all of the other fragrances that were traditionally female fragrances. And I can definitely tell that this does not have the sweetness that most of the other fragrances have. It does not have like that floral presence that some of them had as well. It's just, I feel like the mandarin orange overtakes the pineapple a little bit. It is very refreshing. It is very simple. It feels like if you've tried Atelier Colognes, like, oh my gosh, Atelier Colognes should do a pineapple. That would be amazing but it gives me that type of a vibe. Stripped down, it's very refreshing. That's the type of a scent it is. It is pretty, I need to wear it more though. 
I'm getting the pineapple a little bit more. It's developing a little bit more as the scent uh, dries down a little bit. So yes, I think this one is a nice one. I think it's ridiculously expensive. I think it's like 250 pounds or something like that. Normally, I was lucky that I found it on sale and I only, I'm terrible, but I only purchased from Fragrance Buy when they have an additional sale. So that's when I got this one. I do also have orange and I am planning to get lemon eventually. Maybe that's a Christmas time uh, purchase. But yes, I do uh, have two of the three in this collection. One, because I do like this type of a scent, but two, I just, I love the bottles. And after searching for them a year and a half before I finally got this one, I was like, nope, I'm going to get it because I've been waiting and searching and waiting for too long. So this one is nice, but maybe not my favorite pineapple. All right, we are moving on to fragrances that have pineapple in the middle notes instead of in the top note. This first one is one that I put a good dent into and I bought a backup because I really love this scent. And um, yeah, and it shows a pineapple on the front, which I think is funny. So this is Miami Blossom by Escada. As you can see, like that's a pretty good dent for the size of my collection and how much I wear my perfumes. Like I try to wear them a lot, but Mm, mm. this smells like a tropical drink you know like one of those ones with the paper umbrellas and stuff and a hurricane glass that is what this smells like so your top notes are watermelon blueberry and orange middle notes are pineapple tiara flower jasmine and tuberose base notes are ambroxan musk and sandalwood the blueberry is an unusual note because it's not something I would necessarily identify. I, I wouldn't necessarily identify blueberry in most of the fragrances that I have with blueberry, judging by like the blueberries that I eat. This is so good. I do get the pineapple, but I'm also getting that watermelon in there. So like I said, initially, like first thing that pops into your mind is like one of those fruity drink. Not that I've ever had them. I've never been to a tropical place. Uh, yes, so this one I absolutely love. I think it is delicious. It is one that I do I do wear on the regular and yeah So yes, if you want to smell like a tropical fruity drink you want something just That evokes that Miami blossom is the scent for you a another Escada that I have Is born in paradise. This one had like a little thing around it at one point. It also like this has gotten looser over the years as you can see, like I've put a good dent in this one too. Um, hopefully you can see where it is. There we go. Uh, yes, I do love my Escada fragrances and I do tend to wear them in the summer. This one is so much more subtle than Miami Blossom. Miami Blossom is very much in your face. The notes on this are watermelon, guava, and green apple. Middle notes are coconut milk and pineapple. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and cedar. This one is, if you want something, it smells more aquatic to me, even though the notes don't exactly lend themselves to that. It is very pretty. I do enjoy it, but it doesn't evoke pineapple to me. It's like a light generic fruity. Um, I think it's very pretty, but if you want something that stands out as pineapple, this wouldn't stand out as pineapple, unfortunately but it is really pretty. Next one I purchased because I liked the bottle and I was in a pretty set, but my initial scent, smell of it, I was not impressed and I've not tried it since then, full disclosure. Uh, this is Secret Wish by Anna Sweet. I mean, the little fairy at the top. Obviously, that's why I liked this uh, bottle. Yeah, still it's it's very green and it's kind of sharp so your top notes are lemon melon peach and tagetes okay i might be mispronouncing this but tagetes they're also known as marigold that's that that's that's what i'm getting i don't like that scent um middle notes are pineapple black currant and floral notes base notes are white cedar extract musk amber and sandalwood i don't get fruitiness in this like at all this smells very much green, very much um, aromatic. 
I'm getting that marigold. I, I, I'm not a fan of marigolds. Like they're, they're pretty to look at, but I've never liked the scent of them. Even as a kid, we'd get them because they were cheap. Um, just never, never been a fan. So yeah, no, this is, this is a no for me. I don't get the pineapple on this at all. If you do, let me know. Um, let us know down below, but not, not a, not a pineapple scent to me. So this next one I bought just because it was super cheap. It was under $10 and I was like, I like Disney. It's, it's kind of a fun, stupid bottle and it was cheap. Uh, so this is Disney princess. This is Cinderella and this is the 3.4 ounce one. They have smaller ones too. So they're kind of cute together cause they look like different, uh, turrets on a castle you can put them together but it was by no means like something really uh oh my gosh the sprayer is like a straight shot i have perfume all over the floor because it's just like very concentrated um this is not the most sophisticated scent this smells kind of cheap not gonna lie doesn't even smell like a body spray, um, just smells like something you would give to kids, which obviously it is made for kids and that's why it was so cheap. So the top notes are citruses and lime, middle notes are pineapple and jasmine, base notes are musk, tonka bean, and white wood. It's pleasant enough, but it's not like incredible or um, it smells kind of like a shampoo. That's what it really smells like. You know, like a kid's type of a shampoo. It's fine. But no, I don't get the pineapple in it either. We are down to our last two pineapple notes. So this one I was very surprised by. This is C. Passione by Giorgio Armani. This one um, was sent to me for review from Influencer. I I'm very grateful, but it doesn't really affect my uh, review. So Top notes are pear, blackcurrant, pink pepper, and grapefruit. Middle notes are pineapple, rose, jasmine, and heliotrope. Base notes are vanilla, cedar, amber wood, and patchouli. Like I said, I was surprised that this one popped up in my list of things with pineapple. I don't get a pineapple scent to it at all. It's just a really pretty perfume. Like, it definitely has floral. It's like a floral fruity scent it's not fruity floral it's a floral with fruit in it but i don't get a pineapple in it at all let me know if you if you get a pineapple from it because i'd be curious about that but i don't get a pineapple all right my last one is one that i feel so lucky that i was able to pick up last year i found it in an auction of just random perfumes and there was two bath and body works perfumes in there and i was like these are both banging. I love them. So this is Fresh Pineapple by Bath & Body Works. This is long since discontinued. So you will have to find it um, like in an auction type situation. This is like the ultimate pineapple. Let me give you the notes. So your top notes are coconut milk, orange, and lemon. Middle notes are pineapple fruits. Uh, pineapple fruits peony and rose base notes are vanilla caramel and sandalwood this smells like candied pineapple oh like you know when you have dried pineapple and it's just so sweet that's what this one is so so good um definitely would recommend it's worth searching for and picking up because it is so good it is an edt i got this in november so i haven't really worn it because it's just not been the time of year for this yet um it's so good i really really enjoy this one so definitely if you want like a really sweet pineapple scent this is a great one fresh pineapple and it does smell like pineapple it smells like that candied pineapple something you know very concentrated pineapple that coconut milk and vanilla add to it i think a little bit but oh it's so good yes definitely recommend this so uh let me know if there are any pineapple fragrances that you own that I didn't include or ones that you think that I should pick up or you've heard about. Let me know that down below. Before um, we finish though, I wanted to tell you kind of like my top picks, a uh, brief recap. So ones that I think are really worth it and we're really impressed with are Nina Ricci, Le Monstres, Luna. Of course, 
you knew I was going to do this one. Harajuku Lovers, Super G. It's, it's so good. I do really like this one. It is a very different type of pineapple, but this is pineapple by Dolce. And then, of course, uh, the last one we just talked about, Fresh Pineapple from Bath & Body Works. These are like my top pineapple, like really give you the vibe of pineapple. The other ones I think are really good too. Um, Miami Blossom, definitely recommend that one. I think that one is really good too. Um, I did enjoy my other two Harajuku lovers as well. Anyway, let me know how you are doing down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Let me know if there is another scent note that you would like me to do a video on. I am, I'm happy to do that. It's really fun. I got all of my perfumes inventory. It took like two and a half days just because, um, you know, I didn't do them all in one go. But let me know how you are doing down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.